Look at how sparkly this rock is. You can just see the mica on it just glittering from 100 paces away. It's just shining. Nothing got no shadow in the way. Pretty amazing. I hope you can see that, but this thing is just absolutely glowing. If only that was gold. Pretty beautiful campsite too. Right by the river. This beautiful view is in the Rocky Mountains in British Columbia near Vail Mount, BC. And you can just see that the black sand is built up here on this bank. And there's such a high concentration of mica that the, the black sand literally glitters. Irrespective of how much gold is inside of it. This could have no gold or a little bit of gold or a decent amount, but the mica is pretty much irrelevant. But a very nice little spot here. This is one of the nicer campsites we've seen. An entire bank my dad's standing on is all black sand too. I'm just glittering with mica. Lots of heavies concentrated. Very well could be decent gold here. And the owner of this campsite said there's a gold mine within pretty much sight of this area too. So could be pretty exciting. So it looks pretty low this year. And we'll do some test pans, but it looks pretty encouraging. This is always the exciting part, is the flood, did it leave us a lot of flower gold? Did it leave us not much? Will we find some nuggets? Will nugget find a nugget? And you can see there's no trace of our activity from last year. Renews and reclaims automatically. Isn't nature amazing? All right, a new year, new fresh gravel, and new opportunity. We'll have to see what kind of flower gold the gold gods have left us. Beautiful little spot here that renews every year. Usually we get about an ounce or so from a little section here. And Looks a little bit lower this year and quite nice. Still got two weeks and the water level should drop a bit more, which allows us to work a little bit closer and closer to that watermark. And uh, pretty excited though. It's amazing how everything changes every year. This always looks somewhat similar, but every year there's significant changes. And there's often a lot of changes, especially over here in the amount of black sand and and of course in the gold grades, we've gotten almost the better part of an ounce in a day from a little section here. But uh, usually it has to be low water for that. And the rest of the year there's a lot of ground to work, but it's definitely a lot less money. Still lots of fun though. This is kind of what life is about. Get out and spend some time with your family and have a little adventure, have some fun find some gold. Okay, first pan of the season. Ended up with a pretty decent amount of flower gold there. I'll have to do a count here, but it's there's gold all through this black sand and the pieces are quite large. Like if this was a machine a machine mining operation, this is economic. You see this many pieces of gold? Start running that through your sluice. It definitely helps if you have some fine gold specialized matting like the VDR. That's because some of this really small gold, that is hard to get really high recovery. Good. 
Beautiful butterfly. Can't believe how hot it is though. It's the end of September. It's gotta be at least 30 degrees Celsius in the sun now. Whew. Okay, my guess is 300 plus and there's a few bigger, nicer flakes in there. There's a bunch of wee little dots. First pan of the day for Greg. Shows up beautiful in that blue pan. All right, there's some of the first pan cleaned up. How many pieces of gold are there? Okay, I went to go set up a camera here just because this pan, just a couple scoops here. I picked off the top rocks, very easy shoveling. And this is looking like something really special right here. I could already tell I just, I barely reduced it at all and it's so much black sand. And then just a little swirling around and I could just, you can just see there's gold all through it. Wow. wow. It's, and I, I need to clean this up, but it's, it's clearly looking very good. This is all really good. And it's far enough away from the water's edge. If it goes down just a little bit, we'll be able to take probably a whole strip here. But that's a very good sign because this tree, it looks like it's blessed us. It's rammed into this bank here. And then it's formed what is hopefully an elongation of our usual pastry. And then we can just go right along here and Take a nice strip right out of the center of this off-channel deposit that we do every year. And if the grades are as good as this for even a portion of it, like it's just, it's all through there and there's so much black sand. This is where other people and prospectors would struggle because it's so much black sand. They'll end up with just huge barrels of the stuff at the end and they'll have good gold, but it's so hard to get it near full capture but that's why we practice on this for many years and now we've got it down to where we can basically get high 99 percent recovery which is about as good as it gets especially when these dots get really small but we know that they add up and we want every single one of them in the jar what better weather beautiful place Second gold pan. We just pulled up. We've been here probably like an hour. Already have our camp basically set up. And our camp is close too, so it's very efficient. And we just need to do our usual prospecting here. We'll outline a pay streak, but already it's... When you get something like that right off the bat, like there's just... It's probably hard to see here. I can always see the gold, just it pops in real life, but in the viewfinder and with the glare of the sun, I can't see the gold at all, but it's just, it's all through this material. And I'll try and clear it up and get a better uh, picture close up here in a second. It's gonna be a good season.